Do you struggle with some of that with your driver? A little lack of confidence, a two-way miss maybe, occasionally one of those really high right or low left shots. Well, I've got three things that you're gonna be able to do to your driver to help make you more consistent, rein you in, hit more fairways, and maybe even give you a little better distance. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So we've got three tips, three little things that you can do. Doesn't require changing your swing, doesn't require really anything other than taking the driver you've already got, making a few slight tweaks, and hopefully giving you more consistency, better dispersion, and maybe better overall distance. So let's talk about what are those three things. All right, first thing we're gonna look at is the length. If you're struggling with your driver, struggling with consistency, it may be a little bit too long. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna choke up a little bit on it and see what happens. So if you normally grip the club all the way down at the bottom, what we're gonna do is basically grip, choke up about, about an inch, let's say. Now, if you normally already sort of do that, then we're gonna choke up a little bit more. And after we do that, we're gonna hit some balls and see what happens. Well, that was definitely better right there. So maybe there's something to this. Maybe a little bit shorter could be helpful. Now this is the kind of thing you just wanna kinda of play around with and see how much you can choke down on it and how much you can improve your overall dispersion, your overall efficiency, your overall consistency with it. So let's just say we hit a bunch of balls and feels like about an inch. Now the next thing to cover is number two, the weight. If we're gonna be playing this driver at a shorter length, we may need to add some extra weight to it. Now there's obviously different ways to do that. We could put extra weight on the head. We could put some lead tape on the head. If you've got removable weights, we could take out a lighter weight and replace it with a heavier weight. Or we could change out the shaft from a lighter shaft into a slightly heavier shaft. Any of these options are all good options. Definitely, I would start probably with adding weight to the head. That's gonna usually give you the most obvious effect. You're gonna notice it the quickest versus changing shaft weight, something like that. All right, so I've got a little piece of lead tape right here, and all I'm gonna do is we're just gonna stick this somewhere back here on the back of the head. Now, if you struggle more with a fade, we wanna probably put it more down here on the heel side. If you struggle with hooking the ball more, we put it more out on the toe side. If you're trying to basically keep it neutral, then we're just gonna keep it sort of back here in a neutral position. So I'm just gonna set it right back here in this neutral spot. This isn't obviously where I would necessarily keep this tape permanently because, well, quite honestly, it doesn't wanna stick there. So let's go slightly out on the toe just to find a better spot for it to stick to. A little bit flatter surface is usually gonna work better. That definitely works better. So here, I've now got a little bit of lead tape out here on the toe. So now when I choke down, say half inch, an inch, I've got a little extra weight in the head. It's gonna feel more like it did originally at full length. Let's go ahead, hit a ball or two now. and see how it feels with this extra weight on it. All right, so we're gonna choke down an inch. We got that extra weight there in the head. Take a practice swing first to make sure I know what it feels like. All right. Hung it out just a little bit to the right, but it felt pretty darn solid. I did also put this weight more out on the toe side, so the fact that it went further to the right is not necessarily a surprise. Let's hit one more, see if I can get it, get it straightened up a little bit. Well, definitely leaving it out to the right a little bit more. play around with this a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead, 
pull that lead tape off because you can. You can move it, you can adjust it and slide it more over to put it more here on the heel side or sort of, I don't know what we call that. What do you want to call that? Call that center heel, something like that. Let's see what happens now that we did that. And remember, lead tape is perfectly legal. You'll see tons of pros using it. So it is a perfectly legal option to use even in tournament play. So don't be afraid to take advantage of it. That right there was really good. All right, so we've made it a little shorter. We've made it a little heavier. Last thing to do, if we're still struggling a little bit, add a little bit more loft to it. So we're gonna take our adjustable driver and take that 9.5 and crank it up just a little bit to around 10.5. Now you could go even higher if you wanted. But what we're basically doing here is giving you a little bit more loft, a little bit more backspin, and usually that'll help straighten you out a little bit. If you've got a lot of curve on the ball, a little more backspin will usually help that out a little. Well, definitely had a little tail on it. But let's see how far offline that is. 30 yards offline, that's still gonna be, that's still gonna be playable. So I've got no big issue with that. Let's hit one more. That one basically just went straight with a slight push. And notice I'm playing it shorter, I'm playing it heavier, I'm playing it with more loft on it. But as you can see from that one, 293, not losing any distance. If anything, I actually picked up a little distance overall. So all of these changes are actually helping my overall driving. Now, once you go through this process, you try it out, you test some things out, you can obviously just keep choking down on the club, keep the lead tape on there, keep the higher loft on there, and just play it like that. Or you can make more permanent adjustments. You can cut the grip down, cut, excuse me, cut the shaft down a little, make the club a little shorter. You can make the weight change a little more permanent than just lead tape again, either with heavier weights or in conjunction with a heavier shaft, and keep that loft a little higher. Or, Option number three, you can do what I did here, which is actually make a shorty driver, taking advantage of all the things we just talked about, shorter, heavier, higher loft, and putting it into a completely separate club. So what I did here, I had an extra two wood, an extra mini driver shaft, a little bit heavier than this shaft, and I put it in this Srixon 10 and a half degree head. So I've got a little bit shorter club, about an inch shorter, I've got a little bit heavier shaft, about 10, 11 grams heavier, and then I've got that higher lofted head. Now I also went ahead, changed out one of these weights back here for a heavier weight because this is shorter. Again, just like the lead tape, make it balance out a little more evenly, make it feel honestly a little more like a three wood, and we get this shorty driver here. So now, finally, let's have a little contest. Let's hit a couple balls with each of these drivers. I'm not gonna throw anything out. If I miss it, I miss it. And let's see what kind of numbers I get with my regular driver at full length. We're gonna take the lead tape off and just play it at standard versus my shorty driver. We'll see what we get. Drop kicky. Got under that one a little bit. All right. 
Okay, inch shorter, about 12 grams heavier, a little higher loft. Let's see what we get. Well, another good start. Great, not hit great at all, but not horrible. That one was a little high, maybe a little spinny, but still pretty good. All right, so check this out. Even though this driver is shorter, is heavier, has more loft on it. Notice first off, club head speed within half a mile an hour between the two. The average between my full length driver and this shorter, heavier driver is basically the same. Ball speed, however, definitely better, more center contact with the shorter, heavier driver. And because of that, you can see the efficiency was definitely higher with the shorty driver. Notice the launch angle basically stayed the same. The spin rate, slightly higher on the shorty, but again, another degree of loft on it, so we would expect that to happen. And finally, let's look at the distances, let's look at the dispersion, guess what? Overall distance, both carry and total distance, was better with the shorty driver, and even just taking the longest of each, they were basically dead even. So my long drive with each was about the same, but overall the averages were better with the shorty driver. And guess what, also dispersion, Definitely a tighter grouping. Neither of them were very tight here. This wasn't my best day of driving. That's why I need this shorty driver. But this driver definitely reined it in a little bit more, gave me more consistent results. Every one of those drives I hit would have definitely been in play, would have definitely been, you know, basically in the fairway. So no issues with any of those. All right, there you go. Shorty driver. If you struggle with your driver, if you struggle with consistency in your driver and you have issues, maybe with a two-way miss, you miss it right, you miss it left. Big three tips. Make it shorter, make it heavier, add a little bit of loft, and it'll bring you back into the fairway, tighten things up, and you may, like we see here, not actually lose anything. Heck, you may actually gain overall distance from that shorty driver. Hey, if you've got any questions about what we did today, definitely leave some comments down below. If you're interested in getting a fitting, a custom build, a repair, I will leave all my information down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos, and I will see you on the next one.